She's broken all of this shit. And you mean to tell me that that was a race? What was the agenda? Watch y'all keep this going on. Caitlin Clark is Angel Reese's daddy. Y'all know when Br uh, Brittany Griner, Griner, whatever you want to call it, whatever she was talking about. There's probably one other job that you're about to get into that is really hard and really scary. You're about to be a mom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How is that feeling? Pops. 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 Oh, let me get it together. Oh, my God. Oh, Pops. Pops. And yo, what up, it's your boy Chocolati with the Sexy Body. Welcome to a new episode of Chocolati Plays Reaction Videos. You know what we're here for. We're here to talk about that girl, Katie Clark. Did you see the ass woman that she put on Angel Reese last night on her special night, on her Barbie night, on the night that she was displaying her brand new shoe from Reebok, on the night that Sue Bird was in the building. She spawned all that shit for every one of them. Caitlyn spawned they night. Holy crap. Y'all thought I was going to curse, didn't y'all? No, not right now. I probably will let some go later. But as of right now, yo, the Ricky of the Reese, the year race, it is dead. There is nothing that you can tell me about there being a race between this woman, Caitlin Clark, phenomenal, against Angel Reese right now. Guys, do y'all realize that they kept her ass in the game just so she can keep a double-double streak going? Kept her in the game down by 25 points. Why is you in the game, Angel? Why is you in the game? She was in the game, guys, because she needed like two or three more points. To get another double-double. She needed two or three more points. Listen to what I'm telling y'all guys. To get a double-double, you have to have 10 points, 10 assists, or 10 points, 10 rebounds, or 10 points, uh, 10 steals. You get the idea, right? 10. 10. It took Andrew Reese four quarters to score 10 points. 10 damn points. Are we not paying attention to this? You know what? If this was real life, right? Y'all know, know what I mean by real life. If this was real, where... These talking heads went on there and said exactly how they feel, what they really think. They would have never said that it was a rookie of the year race between Kaylin Clark and Angel Reese. How? Where? Explain to me. If I sat down with Angel Reese and asked her right now, hey, you think it's a race between you and uh, Kaylin Clark? And where do you think you are in the rookie uh, standings? If she says she thinks she's number one, she's a damn lie. Delusional. You ain't got a lot of kick it, Angel. Hell no, you are not number one. There is no way that you're number one where you got to stay in the game just to get 10 points and four quarters. It took you four quarters to get that shit. That is terrible, terrible. Look, Kaitlyn Clark, uh, Kelsey Mitchell, Sexy Lexi, Boston, Smith, uh, uh, Dantas, Timmy, they all on the sideline getting ready to go home. They, they cheering, chatting each other. They dabbing each other up. They ready to go home. And your ass still out there trying to get a double-double. Get, get out of here. Get out of here. That shit is dead. Don't talk to me no more about no Ricky of the Year shit when it comes between Kaylin Clark and Andrew Reese. It can't be. You need me to talk about MVP CC right now. I said it before. I say it again. Y'all call me crazy. I look crazy now. I probably do because my hair all in my face. But outside of what I really look like, I'm talking about do I look crazy now with those... Uh, takes I was given on Caitlin Clark. Let's look at something real quick. I want y'all to hear this, this. Hear this. Hear this. These are all the records that Caitlin Clark has broken this season in the WNBA. Most assists by a rookie in a season. Most three pointers made by a rookie in a season. Most games with 20 points and 10 assists in a season. Most double doubles by a guard in a single season. First player with multiple games of 25 points, 10 assists, and, uh, and five three pointers. First rookie to achieve a 30-point, 12-assist game in, a w in WWA history. Kaitlyn Clark needs, I think it's like 30-something more rebound, I mean assist. Kaitlyn Clark, only, I think she needs like 36 more assists to break the single-season record for assist in the WNBA. With all of those numbers I just named right now, I don't understand why Stephen Hay, A hasn't done that himself. I don't understand why Stephen A. hasn't put those numbers out there showing that this is a reason why Kaitlyn Clark should be the only one spoken about winning this award. Her in the second place should be Rakia Jackson. You know, they give numbers about everything. ESPN got numbers about everything. They tell you this is the first ever. This is the first this, the first that. Look at all the first that this woman has done. You know, I know what Angel has done in the WNBA for her first. And I had, to, I even asked, I even asked uh chat gtp what has she done 
The only thing she's done is broke the double double record. Kaylin Clark has broken six records in the WWE in the WNBA. I'm gonna say WW. <laughs> WWF, <laughs> no, but in the W in the NBA, she's broken six records, guys. She's broken all of this shit. And you mean to tell me that that was a race? What was the agenda? Watch y'all keep this going on. Kaylin Clark is Angel Reese's daddy. Y'all know when Br uh, Brittany Griner, Griner, whatever you want to call it, whatever she was talking about. There's probably one other job that you're about to get into that is really hard and really scary. You're about to be a mom. <laughs> How is that feeling? Pops. 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 Oh, let me get it together. Oh, my God. Pops. Shit, no. Kaylin is the pappy of Angel. That's your baby. Rock her ass to sleep. You, She rocked her ass to sleep. I can't get behind somebody who's getting double doubles, right? And it's 10 points, 15 rebounds, something like that. But 10 points. If you getting 25 points, 30 points, and, and 10, 16 rebounds, then we can talk. Because if you're doing that, your team is most likely winning. But the fact that you're only getting 10 points here, 9 points there, 20 rebounds, and y'all still losing the way that y'all losing, it shows me that the shit that you're doing does not contribute to the team. You don't care about the team. You care about it, they're getting them damn stats. That's why you're still in the game when everybody else is going to the damn bench. Now, I understand this, so I don't want to talk shit about her as if she stayed in the game on purpose in the beginning because y'all remember it went to timeout. When it went to timeout, Coach uh, Witherspoon, what's her name? Witherspoon, she pulled everybody. But Angel had to stay in the game because Angel had to shoot free throws. Now, as soon as Angel shot them down free throws, they should have been pulling her ass out as soon as they had the opportunity to. But no, they didn't want to. Why? Because she needed a couple of more points to get another double-double. I have been told time and time again that Kaylin is a stat pattern. And I asked, what's the definition of a stat pattern? They gave me the definition. I was like, no, that's not. That's just somebody that's playing for their team. The shit that I saw out there last night with Angel, when they down by 25 and she's standing in the game after she hit the free throw, pull her out, you kept her in because you wanted her to get that damn record with the spoon. You have no love for your team. You don't. You are part of that agenda too. They want to keep this girl on the court. What if she got hurt out there trying to get a few more points? Then her season is over. Y'all still in eighth place right now. You want to sacrifice Right? This woman going out there and breaking another record. And not even breaking a record. It's just keeping some streak alive that I ain't even, anybody's even worried about right now. Nobody's worried about these streaks, especially for a person who's not even the best person on their team. You showed up there wearing a Dennis Rodman jersey. You know Dennis Rodman wasn't the best person on his team either. So if you want to call yourself the best and, and go out there, I'm a dog, I'm a dog, what the hell does that even mean? What kind of dog is you? <laughs> what kind? Because other than what you do on rebounds and everything, there's nothing. There's nothing to even talk about. And I'm sorry for giving this take like this, but it's what it is. And I'm giving it because of so many people who kept talking about her like she was the hot shit. How could they keep talking about her like she was hot shit and never give her this nowhere near the same treatment that Caitlyn got? When Caitlyn is actually good, she got, she got everybody having her back right now on her team. And that's a beautiful thing. Everybody got her back. They was over there chilling, chopping it up. They happy. They had, I had never seen them look like that on the sideline before. That is scary. That is very scary, guys. When you got Boston out there, I think Boston only has seven points. Maybe maybe nine, I don't know. But they held Boston in check. And that team still scored 100 points. They still scored 100 points because you got sexy Lexi knocking down all her shots. Mitchell is a fool on offense, right? I can't wait to see her. I know y'all heard what I just said, right? I can't wait to see her ass in. I'm going to see them tomorrow or today. Whenever you watch this video, it ain't going to be the day that I did it. <laughs> I am taking my black ass out there to go see Kaylin Clark in person, guys. I'm going out there in person. Hold on. I went and got my damn Kaylin Clark shirt. Here we go. CC MVP, I'm going to be in the building screaming my ass off. Y'all going to hear Chocolati going crazy. I'm a Chocolati blast. I didn't hit the button right, so now my shit wasn't working. Because <laughs> I'm a player, man. I'm a pimp, and I don't have to deal you with that. You got your shirt on backwards. Player? Player, fuck up. Let's try it again. Drop a chocolate lot of blast. There we go. There we go. Listen, I love y'all guys. This is a short video. Because I had to talk about Kaylin putting Angel Reese's ass to bed. Putting this damn rookie of the year race shit to bed. It ain't no damn race. <laughs> It ain't no race. Kaylin ain't. Kaylin wasn't even caring about there being no damn race. Hey, ra your angel ran that race by her damn self, by herself. How you get your nights ball like that, Angel? 
Boy, y'all know what you thought. I thought you was going you thought you was gonna go out there, right, and and, and show out. You thought everybody's gonna take them damn towels, them pink towels, and wave them around their head and shit like that for you. Hell no, nah, they didn't do it for you. They did it for Kaylin. Kaylin walked off that court and was doing this shit here, and everybody was cheering for her. Did y'all see that? Shaq out there talking about these women need to get paid just as much as the men in the NBA. You're a damn lie. You don't mean that shit, Shaq. You're just trying to go viral with that statement. You're trying to go viral because you got a shoe out right now for Angel. You got a shoe out there for her right now. So you got to market this shit, right? Well, you picked a terrible ass night to market this shoe. Kaylin scored 31 points, 12 assists, 4 rebounds. She only had 3 turnovers tonight, guys. Bravo. Wonderful. One steal. She was a maniac. 4 rebounds. She was a maniac out there. A maniac. And she did all that on Angel Reese's night. It took Angel Reese four quarters to score 10 points. She had to stay in there for that shit. That is pathetic. That's pathetic. Your shooting percentage for a big person is pathetic. 30% shooting. For... We got to stop it. 11 minutes, I didn't want to go that long. I want y'all to watch this whole video. And if you do make it through this whole video, y'all know what to do. Y'all know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Become a part of Chocolate Crew. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell so you know when your boy drops videos and live streams. Guy, we going to be at the game tomorrow. I'm being there acting a damn fool. I'm being there going crazy. Cuckoo. And I'm going to do some live from there too if I get the opportunity to. But you guys, tune in for that. Tune in to this. And I do all the three things that I ask y'all to do. And let's keep this thing rocking, guys. I love y'all. Peace.